All right, well, our next big idea in this chapter is about how to take uh, quadratics or parabolas and actually move them and know based on the equation what's going to happen. We call this transforming functions. Uh, we're also going to look at absolute value equations as well. They're very similar. So these are our basic equations for uh, quadratics. Of course, this is graphing or, or vertex form. And that's going to be U-shaped. The vertex is going to be H comma K like we discussed earlier. Uh, absolute value equations look very similar uh, in terms of the actual equation, but instead of parentheses and squared, it's absolute value. These are V-shaped. I'll show you that in a minute here. And the vertex is also going to be H comma K. So as it turns out, depending on what A is or H or K, it's going to have an effect on the graph. And that's where the transformation takes place. So I'm going to give you a moment right now to go ahead and write down all these little sentences here and bulleted items. And so go ahead and pause it right now and we'll rejoin in a minute. Okay, so now that you've had a chance to pause it and write down all that information, let's go ahead and take a look at some graphs. So I've gone ahead on Desmos here and, and made the basic parabola graph. And I've gone ahead and I've written it as a quantity x minus h squared plus k. And uh, I have a slider, so we can see the effect here. So a right now is one. So if I go ahead and make it greater, you'll notice my graph gets stretched out. It also gets more narrow if you want to think about it that way. And as I get closer and closer back to zero, it stretches out again. Now it's pretty close to zero, gets really wide or compressed. As I go negative, you'll notice it goes down. It's still pretty compressed. And as it gets further from zero, it's going to get more and more stretched out or narrow. So that's the effect of a. I'm going to go and Put it back on one. H, you'll see, moves it to the right or moves it to the left. When H is positive, it's going to be going to the right. When it's negative, it's going to be going to the left. More on that to follow. Uh, let me go ahead and move it back to zero here. And K, if I make it positive, it's going to make the graph move up. And if K is negative, it's going to go down. So H and K make it shift. I'm going to go ahead and change it over now and show you absolute value as well. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that out and delete this and go ahead and add in my absolute value. So there it is, there's my absolute value. So you'll see now it's a V shape instead of a U shape. Same kind of effects here. As A gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it gets narrower. As it gets closer back down to zero, it gets wider, wider, wider. You'll see that there and as it goes negative, it flips over and also gets more and more narrow as it shifts, it gets away from zero in terms of the A value. Go ahead and put it back at one. So here's our one. H is gonna make it move right or left. And K is gonna make it move up or down, okay? So those are the basic effects. You can see that visual here. So what does that do for us? What it does is, as we sit here and look at equations, we can know immediately what our graphs are gonna look like. So let's go ahead right now and let's look at our first equation here. G of X is, so looking at this equation, I know it's gonna be a parabola. So I'm gonna say it's gonna be a parabola. I also know it's going to be U-shaped, since it's a parabola. Uh, because A is a positive number, 3 is definitely positive. We know it's going to open up, right, open up. Uh, because 3 is a number that's greater than 1, it's going to be fairly narrow or vertically stretched. So I'm just going to write narrow. You can also write vertically stretched, that's fine. Also, because of H and K, H here is actually 2, not negative 2. More on that to follow. So it's actually going to shift and it's going to shift right to, and it's going to move down five. So what that tells us is, is that our vertex is at two comma negative five. And people often ask me, well, why is it two? I see a negative two here. And the reason why is if you were to take what's inside the parentheses, which is X minus two, set it equal to zero, X would have to be two. So that's why it's two and not negative two. So now we have absolute value. And once again, the same effects of AH and K are in play here. So I know it's going to be absolute value. I'm going to write absolute value. And I know that because I can see the symbols here for absolute value. It's going to be V shaped, not U shaped. I know because it's negative, it's going to open down. And I know because this number is between negative one and zero, that it's going to be fairly compressed, vertical compression or more flat. So I'm going to say it's going to be flat. Now, in terms of shifting, it's going to shift left four, and it's going to shift up 
9. So in other words, my vertex is going to be at negative 4, comma 9. So that's the basics of how these graphs work and how they're transformed by changing the values of A, H, and K.